Caillou the Storyteller. Caillou was having fun playing with his friends Jason and Jeffrey. But they were starting to get a little too loud. Boys, let's use our indoor voices, please. But we're having a roaring contest. If we go outside, can we use outside voices? <laughs> Good thinking, Caillou. It is almost time to play outside. <gasps> it's raining. Oh, dear. I guess we won't be going outside to play right now. Caillou was disappointed. He really wanted to go outside. I don't like rain. Where does all that water come from anyway? That's a good question. Does anyone know where the rain comes from? From the clouds! Right! But do you know how it gets there? Come on, I'll show you. Water starts out in lakes and rivers. Over time, it evaporates. That means it goes into the air and up to the clouds. When clouds are full of water, they're like sponges that can't hold anymore. So they let go of the water, and it rains. Oh! And the rain makes the grass grow. Right. Caillou knew that rain was good sometimes. But right now, he really wanted to go outside and play. I wish I could make the rain stop. Don't worry, Super Caillou will make it stop raining. <laughs> it feels like the sponge Daddy uses to wash the car. I know, I'll squeeze out all the rain. Caillou? <laughs> if the rain stops, we can go outside and play. But for now, why don't you pick out a book to look at? Books are a great way to have fun on a rainy day. <laughs> okay. Look, I've got Jack in the Beanstalk, and it has a giant in it. I found a book about dinosaurs. What are you going to read, Caillou? I want a book about a superhero. <laughs> hmm. What kind of superhero? A superhero who makes it stop raining. I don't think we have a book like that, Caillou. But would you like to write one? I could help you. Okay. Now, why don't you tell me your superhero story, and I'll write it down. Um, once upon a time... Everybody wanted to go outside, but it was raining, so the superhero... What was his name? Super Caillou! <laughs> That's a good name! What did Super Caillou do? He flew up to the clouds. That's where the rain comes from! Shh! And the clouds were big sponges full of water, so he flew up on the top of the clouds. Was anybody else up there? Yeah, a giant! And a dinosaur! Oh my! A giant and a dinosaur in the clouds! Then what happened? Um... So Super Caillou wanted to stop the rain and... Yeah, the clouds were wet 
because the giant was washing his car and he left the hose running. <laughs> <laughs> so he got the giant and the dinosaur to help him squish out all the water. They jumped up and down in the clouds and squished the water out. Squish! 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 <laughs> what happened after they squished out all the water? It stopped raining and they all went for a ride in the giant's car. In the giant's car. There! What a good story! And now you have it all written down. There aren't any pictures. Not yet. The pictures in books are called illustrations. Would you like to make some illustrations for your book? Yeah! Caillou painted lots of pictures to go in his book. He was especially proud of his last picture. After the paint was dry, Miss Martin helped Caillou tie all the pages together with yarn. And there we are. Congratulations, Caillou. You're an author. That means you wrote your own book. Who wrote his own book? I did, and I made the pictures. The illustrations. See? You made this? This looks like a very exciting story. Hmm. Would you like to take it home or leave it here for everybody to read? Mm, I want to leave it here. Jason and Jeffrey might want to look at it. All right. Bye, Caillou. I'm so proud to have a real author in the family. Me too. Bye. A present for Mommy. It was a cold winter morning, and it had been snowing all night. Caillou was getting dressed to go to play school. He even remembered to put on his hat. I can't see! <laughs> he didn't want to be late, because today they'd be doing arts and crafts. I'm ready, Mommy. Uh, you might have to wait for me, Caillou. Uh, I've looked everywhere, but I can't find the car keys. Here they are. <laughs> they were in that boot. Thanks, sweetie. I guess I'll have to find a better place to keep these keys, or I'll make us both late. Where's the car? It disappeared. Oh, it disappeared under all that snow. We'd better get to work. Caillou liked to help Mommy shovel snow. It was fun. When all the snow was off the car, Caillou and Mommy tried to warm up. But it was very chilly. Uh-oh. The car doesn't like the cold weather. It's having a bad day, too. Don't worry, Caillou. When things go wrong, it's best to look on the bright side. At least you found the car keys for me. How about we ask Grandpa to drive you to play school? Okay. Spin. <laughs> Hat. Mittens. Coat. Boot number one. Whoa! <laughs> Boot number two. Whew. That was a lot of work. I'll be back later to pick you up. Mommy will be busy getting the car fixed. Sounds like she's having a bad day. Hi, Caillou. I'm glad you made it. We're making crafts out of clay this morning. I'm going to make a present for Mommy. That's a great idea, Caillou. See you later. 
Caillou tried to think of something that would make Mommy happy. Like a fan to blow away the snow. Ah! <laughs> or the warmest coat in the world. Or even better, a big warm sun to melt all the snow so it could be summertime. Thank you, Caillou. <sighs> I'm gonna make a sun to melt all the snow. My sun is shining on your snowman. Oh no! I'm melting! It's getting hotter and hotter. Uh oh! Caillou was upset. Now he had to start all over again. This time, Caillou was very careful with his son. Let's bake it in the oven so it can dry out. Then you can paint it. It broke! It's okay. We'll wait for it to cool, and then we can glue the pieces back together. After the sun had cooled, Miss Martin glued it to a piece of wood. There you go. Better than ever. And now you can hang it on the wall. Thank you. Now I'm going to paint it yellow. <laughs> See? He's smiling. After snack time, Caillou decided to check on his present for Mommy. Can I see Caillou? <gasps> Uh-oh! Caillou was annoyed at Clementine. His present was ruined again. Sorry, Caillou. It looks like your son's wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou decided he liked his son even better this way. Good work, Caillou. Sometimes when things go wrong, they still work out for the best. Looks like the car's fixed. Maybe it wasn't such a bad day after all. Caillou couldn't wait to give Mommy the sun he made. Hello, Caillou. I made you a present, Mommy. A sun? Oh, thank you. It's just what I needed to see on a cold afternoon. I was having a bad day, but this makes it a whole lot better. Mm -mm. And I know just where this can go. A little higher. What do you think, Caillou? Perfect. And now let's see if it works. Keys, please. Hmm. Not again. They must be around here somewhere. Here, Mommy. <laughs> what would I do without you? Now you'll always remember where your keys are. And we'll always remember to look on the bright side when we're having a bad day. Thanks to Caillou. Caillou the chef. Caillou was very excited because his friends the twins, Jason and Jeffrey, were coming over to play. And they were staying for lunch. What are we having for lunch, Mommy? I thought you can make your own pizzas. Yay! You can help me by washing those mushrooms. Jeffrey. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Caillou. We're 
gonna make our own lunch. Guess what we're gonna make? Um, snail sandwiches? Ew, no. How about snake soup? No. I know, spider pie. I've got a glow-in-the-dark spider we can eat. Sorry, Boris. <laughs> no, we're going to make our own pizzas. I've never made a pizza before. Me neither. I have lots of times. I'll show you how. Come on. Okay, boys. Now that you've washed your hands, we're ready to start. Here's your pizza dough. The first thing you have to do is roll your dough flat. Like this. Ah, making pizzas, are we? Did you know that I once worked in a pizzeria? Really? Wow! wow. You need a lot of practice before you can do this. You see, it's all in the wrist action. <gasps> oh! <laughs> should just stick to the rolling pin. I better go wash up. What do we do now, Caillou? Next, you put on the tomato sauce and spread it all around. I don't like sauce much. I like lots of sauce. Then, you sprinkle on the cheese. I like tons of cheese. I just want a little. That's not the right way to make pizza. But now comes the most fun part. You make a smiley face with the mushrooms. Nah, I don't like mushrooms. I do. I'm going to make a spider on my pizza. I need something to make my spider's legs with. Well, let's see what I can find. How about carrots? Yeah! Can I have some broccoli, please? Broccoli? Carrot sticks? They don't go on pizzas. Caillou was upset that the twins were making their pizzas all wrong. Everyone can make their pizza how they like, Caillou. Can I put my spider on too? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. <laughs> Let's just stick to food, okay? Caillou imagined he was a real chef in a pizzeria. <laughs> make some pizzas. Okay, Chef Caillou. I'll be ready in 30 minutes so you boys can go and play. I know what we can play. Welcome to Caillou's Restaurant. Here's our menu. Hmm, I don't know what to have. We don't have any spiders, snakes, or snails, but we do have pizza. And you can have any topping you want. <laughs> I'll take a dump truck and a yo-yo. <laughs> uh, 
And I'll have a sock puppet and some puzzle pieces. That was good, but I'm still hungry, Caillou. Boys, pizza's ready! Yay! Yeah, boy! Slice of my spider for such as your smiley face. Well, okay. Mmm, the carrots make it nice and crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> The three boys had a good time trying each other's pizzas. And Caillou learned that there really is more than one way to make a pizza. We're cooking! Caillou, would you like to help me cook something today? Okay, Mommy! We're cooking! We're cooking today! We're cooking! I'll show you the way! We're cooking! We're cooking today! We're gonna bake a chocolate cake First we take a little flour <laughs> Put it in a mixing bowl Add eggs, butter, sugar, milk Stir it up well, that's the goal Into the oven the cake will go Be careful cause an oven's hot We have to wait till the cake is done Let's take a look at what we've got Now let's put the icing on yeah. I think it's ready soon don't forget that we have to clean up. Caillou, would you like to lick the spoon? Yes! We're cooking. We baked the cake. We're cooking. They're fun to make. We're cooking. Don't get a belly ache. Night or day. Step right this way. For real gourmet. It's Caillou's Cafe. We're, We're cooking. cooking. We're, We're cooking, cooking today. today. Yeah. yeah! Caillou the painter. Here's another one. Caillou was helping Mommy sort the laundry. His job was matching all the socks. Pink and pink. You're very good at matching socks. Last one. Here you go. Hmm. I need another blue sock. Hmm. Hmm, it's not in here. Maybe it's still in the washing machine. Uh-huh, here it is. Oh, dear. This stain didn't wash out of Daddy's shirt. I guess I'll have to make cleaning rags out of it. Mommy, can I have it? If you like. <laughs> but I'd better shorten those sleeves or you'll trip over them. I can't find my hands. Thank you! <laughs> Look, Daddy, I'm wearing your shirt. Mommy cut off the sleeves. That looks like a good paint shirt. A paint shirt? Grandma coming! That's right. Grandma just called and she's coming for lunch. Can I paint a picture for Grandma in my paint shirt? Sure you can, Caillou. We can set up your painting things in the backyard. Grandma coming! <laughs> Why don't we go out and pick a nice flower for Grandma? Yeah, pretty flower for Grandma. Hold on there, sweetie. First the sunblock, then we go outside. Caillou knew that you had to put sunblock on when you went outside on a sunny day. You're going to need some of this too. I can do it. Good sunblock paint shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Caillou. Let's get your painting gear. There you go. You're all set. Caillou couldn't wait to get started on his painting. He wanted to make <laughs> something extra special for Grandma. Hey! Hubert, <laughs> I'm trying to paint. Hmm, I'm going to paint a picture of you, Gilbert. 
How about a nice rose? Baby flower! Would you like a lily? Okay. Baby flower! Caillou liked his painting of Gilbert, but he wanted to paint something even more special for Grandma. I'm gonna paint a picture of Rosie. Rosie! <laughs> Caillou liked his painting of Rosie too, but it wasn't quite what he wanted to give Grandma either. Caillou was having a hard time figuring out what to paint for Grandma. Hello, Caillou. What should I paint, Mommy? What about... A tree. I want to use lots of colors. What can I paint that has lots of colors? You could always make an abstract painting. Abstract? Abstract. That means you don't have to paint anything in particular. You can use whatever colors you want and make any kind of shapes you want. Like circles and triangles and stars? Sure, whatever you like. Caillou thought abstract painting sounded like fun. That's a beautiful painting, Caillou. I'm sure Grandma will love it. Thank you. Daddy's shirt's all messy. That's okay, Caillou. Paint shirts are supposed to get messy. It shows how hard you worked on your painting. Messy's good. <laughs> Maybe for paint shirts, but you still need to wash your face and hands before lunch. <laughs> Baby flower. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Grandma. Grandma. Flower. <laughs> oh, that's too bad, Rosie. This flower was for you, Grandma. Now, don't you fret, Rosie. I know what we can do. We can press this flower, and that way it will last for a long, long time. There. Doesn't it look nice? Ooh! Flower for Grandma! Oh, <laughs> thank you, Rosie. It's beautiful. Hi, Grandma! painted this for you. How wonderful! Thank you, Caillou. Oh, which way does it go? I'm not sure. Then it's an extra special work of art, because you can look at it any which way. Really? And now we have two beautiful works of art. Uh-oh, you mean three. Gilbert is a work of art, too. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Caillou Caillou was waiting for his grandpa to arrive. They were going to the park today. Hi, Grandpa! Hello, Caillou. Are you ready for a very special day in the park? Why is it so special? What are we doing? What's in the box? Hmm. Hold on there. You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was very curious. He wanted to know what was in the box. You'd better get going. The quicker you get to the park, 
the quicker you'll find out what's in there. Yeah, let's go, Grandpa. Bye, Daddy. Come on. <laughs> Wait for me. Caillou and Grandpa rode the bus to the park. Caillou loved riding the bus, but he still really wanted to know what was in the box. Tell me what's in the box, Grandpa. I'll give you a hint. It's something we can play with at the park. Hmm. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? Hmm. Caillou thought about all the things that might be in there. Wait a minute. You could be right. Nope. It's not a helicopter. <laughs> Grandpa. Soon they were in the park. Is it a teddy bear? Nope. Is it a real bear? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the boats! <laughs> Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. Look! They're having a race! Boy, I wish we had a... <gasps> I know! A sailboat! Made it myself. Do you like it? Yeah! Does it really sail? We'll soon find out. Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. I'm steering it! <laughs> That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? I bet we'd win. Sure. Caillou imagined he was a real captain of a real boat. Captain Caillou. Hi! My boat is faster than all the other boats. I'm faster than the fishes. I'm even faster than the birds. My boat is the fastest boat ever. Are you ready for a race? I'll just get you lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Hi, Emma. That's Emma. She's in my play school. Well, she's going to race with us today. Her boat is the red one, and that boy over there has the green boat. I bet we're going to win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. <laughs> but remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, go! My boat's faster than your boat. No, it isn't. Come on. really wanted to win the race, so he decided to make the little boat go faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. Look, we're winning! Faster, faster! Oh, no! Oh, that's too bad. Better luck next time. <gasps> Caillou! 
how you felt bad that his boat had made Emma's boat tip over. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. <laughs> <laughs> it tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> Here's your boat, Emma. Why don't you come over and say congratulations to the winner? Okay, Grandpa. Soon, it was time to go back home. So are you disappointed you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I like being Captain Caillou, even if I don't win. Would you like to be captain again next Saturday afternoon? Yeah! Vroom, vroom. Next time I won't go so fast. Then I won't tip over. That's a very good idea, Captain Caillou. Jolly good. The loudest noise. Caillou was having fun playing with his fire truck. This is the fire chief! Fire at the old shipyard! Let's go! You're being too loud, Caillou. Rosie's trying to sleep. Sorry, Mommy. Why don't you play outside? Caillou didn't really want to go outside. But he knew that outside he could make as much noise as he wanted. Okay. Mommy! <sighs> Coming, Rosie! There's the fire! Come on, we can put it out! Caillou couldn't even hear his fire truck because Daddy was making even more noise than he was. <laughs> Daddy, if you had the lawnmower inside, Mommy would tell you to be quiet. <laughs> then it's a good thing that the grass grows outside and not inside, isn't it? <laughs> That's silly, Daddy. Phew! Cutting grass is thirsty work. I could sure use a glass of juice right now. How about you? Yes, please. Caillou and Daddy got themselves some apple juice, and it sure tasted good. That's a sad sound. Why is that? Because my juice is all gone. You know, you're right. It is a sad sound. Here, let me put that away. Caillou wondered if there was anything that was louder than Daddy's lawnmower. Yes, it is! Boy, that truck makes the loudest sound ever! I know a sound that's even louder than that. Really? What is it? It's a surprise. We have to take a little drive to hear it. Come on! Is that the loudest sound, Daddy? It's loud, all right, but it's still not as loud as what I'm going to show you. That 
That's a yummy sound. You said it. But it's not the loudest sound, is it, Daddy? Nope. Caillou was very curious to know where Daddy was taking him and what the loud sound would be. Hmm. Caillou thought Daddy had made a mistake. He couldn't hear any loud sounds at all. But it's really quiet here. Don't worry. It won't be quiet for long. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did you see that? Daddy, did you see that plane? I saw it. Did you hear how loud it was? I wish we could see some more airplanes. We can. I think I see another one coming in for a landing. Caillou loved planes. He imagined what it would be like to be a real pilot. Been. Daddy took <gasps> me to see... Caillou suddenly remembered that Rosie was sleeping, and he had to be quiet. Oops, sorry, Mommy. That's okay. Now, what were you saying? Daddy took me to the airport to see the planes. They were really, really loud. They were even louder than the recycling truck and the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is loud. It looks like you're about ready for a nap, too. Do you like airplanes, Gilbert? I like them because they're so loud. Caillou decided that even though he liked the loud sound of airplanes, he loved the soft sound of Gilbert purring even more. Caillou, Caillou, I'm so proud of you. What do you want to do when you grow up? Caillou, Caillou, there's so much to see. What do you want to be when you grow up? You can be a writer or learn to play guitar. You can be an astronaut and reach for the stars. You can be an explorer or play on a team a doctor a pilot just follow your dream just believe in yourself and set your goals high you can do anything just don't be afraid to try Caillou Caillou if you only knew how proud I am of you as I watch you as you grow up Caillou's first wedding. Today was a very important day. Daddy's friend Jonas was getting married. And Caillou and Rosie were to be part of the wedding party. There you go. You look very handsome. Is this wedding going to be like yours and Mommy's wedding? 
It'll be mostly the same, but our wedding wasn't at a ranch. And we didn't have you and Rosie to help out because you weren't even born yet. Oh, good, you're ready. Let's practice what you and Rosie have to do for the wedding. Caillou had a very important job to do. He had to carry the wedding rings down the aisle. Oops! <laughs> <laughs> Let's practice with just one ring. Now, honey, you carry the pillow with the rings down the aisle, okay? Here you go, sweetie. Let's pretend there are rose petals in here. You walk down the aisle and throw them in front of you. Good! Caillou, when Daddy asks you for the rings, you give them to him. And you'll know it's all over when the bride and groom kiss, like this. <laughs> okay, I think we're all ready. Let's get going. It's going to be a long day. I want you two to try and stay nice and clean. I can't wait to see Jonas's horse Lucky. I hope he remembers me from last time. Caillou decided to bring some carrots for Lucky. Soon they were at Jonas's ranch. Grandma and Grandpa were already there. I'm still clean. Welcome. I'd like you all to meet Kristen, my bride-to-be. Are you two all ready to be in a wedding? Can I go see Lucky? We have to have another practice first. Right over there. Yay! Caillou, if you want people to move out of the way, you say, excuse me. Excuse me? Why, sure thing, little partner. They practiced one more time. Grandma pretended to be Kristen because she was busy getting ready. <laughs> Not now, sweetie. Let's just pretend to throw them. Do you, Kristen, take Jonas to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. <laughs> With this ring, I thee wed. That was perfect. You're a wonderful ring bearer, Caillou. And you're a great little flower girl, Rosie. Can I go see Lucky now? Sure. As a matter of fact, I need a little help from you. Caillou felt very grown up. Jonas needed his help to guide Lucky toward the wedding buggy. Is he going in straight? Yes. Back up, Lucky. Back up. Caillou thought the buggy was like the ones that cowboys used to drive in the old days. All done, Lucky? Then let's get going. Please? When we get to town, you can have all the carrots you want. Yee-haw! Go, Lucky, go! Howdy, partner. This is for you, Lucky. <laughs> I brought a carrot for Lucky. Can I give it to him? Sure. Put it on your hand and hold it out flat like this. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. You don't want to get dirty. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, let's get you cleaned up. I tried to stay clean, but the hay stuck to me. Caillou almost didn't recognize Kristen. She sure looked different in her wedding dress. Don't spill them, Rosie. Oh! There it is! I've got them! 
Let's put them in your pocket. That way they won't fall. And do you, Jonas, take Kristen to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. With this ring, I thee wed. Caillou couldn't find the other ring in his pocket. With this ring, I thee wed. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Oh! Good job, Caillou. Very nice, Rosie. But I dropped the rings and got my knees all dirty. But you found the rings again, and you were very polite. That's right. There may have been a couple of snags, but I think things ended just perfectly. <laughs> Here, Rosie. Caillou was glad that everything had turned out all right. And he was very, very glad he hadn't lost the wedding rings. Do, do.